Hi, I'm Annie Smith, and I want to show you how to make a quilter's knot, okay? So I am going to use a really big needle so you'll be able to see. Usually when I'm uh, quilting or doing applique or something like that, I don't use a needle that, that, that is as big as this, but I want you to be able to see it. And then I also have some great big fat thread so that you'll be able to see the thread as well. Mm -hmm. Our thread has a nap, just like the strands of our hair. So if you, you know, just get a strand of hair and, you know, pull on it this way, it's really silky. But if you take it and go this way, it, it, uh, that's how you back comb your hair and it makes a little nest. And so it's basically going against the grain. And the same thing happens with our thread. It comes off of the spool um, with the grain. And so as I run my fingers out to the cut edge of the spool, it's very silky feeling. And if I go the opposite way, it's very rough feeling. And so what you want to do is be able to keep this end free because this is the end that you're going to put the knot into. And so what I'm going to do is pull off a length of thread and cut it. It's the cut end that I want to um, put in the eye of the needle. And so I'm going to try to do this without a magnifying glass. <laughs> and I'm failing miserably. There we go. Okay, so here is the cut end that I just cut. And here is the end that came off the spool. All right. So here's the deal. Usually when we um, piece or applique or uh, whatever stitching that we're doing, we use a single strand of thread. Okay, and so that's what I'm going to show you. So in order to make the quilters knot, and it doesn't matter whether you're right-handed or left-handed, you're just going to hold the needle in your working hand. I happen to be right-handed, and even though this looks like I've got my left hand up because the picture is um, switched around, um, I my right hand is my working hand. So I'm holding the needle, and you can see like right here that that's where the eye of the needle is and this is where the point is. You want to hold it this way and then I'm going to take the cut end of the thread and I'm going to lay it on top of the needle and then I'm going to hold that cut end. So basically I've just made a loop with my thread. Okay, now I'm going to, with my other hand, going to take the thread and I'm going to wrap it around the needle three times. It doesn't make any difference which way you wrap the thread, whether you wrap it towards yourself or away from yourself, either way will work just fine. Okay, so you see that I, I'm holding the thread in between my index and thumb fingers on my working hand and then I have just wrapped the thread and I'm holding on to it still. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to put the needle this way so that I can push my wraps down. And now I'm going to remove my hand and all of the wraps are encased in between my index finger and my thumb. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the needle through until I can feel the knot at the end of my thread. Now, the, the most crucial part of this method is that not until you feel the knot in your fingers right here, are you gonna take those apart at all. If you take them apart, everything will fall apart. All right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it off of the needle and I'm going to hold on here like this. So I'm holding on to the needle and the thread so the needle doesn't come unthreaded. <laughs> and then I'm just going to pull and pull, pull, pull. And now I have the knot. <laughs> okay, so that is exactly what you need to do to make the quilter's knot. I'm going to show you one more time.
And the cool part about having a video online is that you can watch it as many times as you want in order to get down the technique that you're trying to learn. Okay, hold your needle like this. Take the end of the thread and lay it on top of the needle and then hold on to it. The, the thread that's on top of the needle and the needle um, in your index finger and thumb. And then you're going to wrap the thread around the needle three times. Push the thread wraps down so you can hold on to them. Now again, where you were holding on to it with the needle and then pull until you see the knot. And you can trim off that little tail because you don't need it. And the best thing about this knot is that it is perfect every time you do it, as long as you keep your fingers together. And it's small enough that it um, separates and pops in through the fabric. And so this is the perfect, well, they call it a quilter's knot because when you quilt, you want this knot to disappear in between your uh, quilt sandwich, your quilt top, your batting and your backing. And so this little knot just goes right in and stays in the batting so that you can quilt along and quilt your quilt. And so um, again, I used a really large needle and fat thread so you could see what I was doing, but I usually use a very small, very fine needle and 50 weight uh, thread or 28 weight thread in my needle. But every time I'm sewing something by hand, whether it's buttons or a quilt or a hem or whatever, um, I always use this little knot. So if you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment.